my name is Michael Keane. I'm a transition year student in Roco. So today I'm going to be answering all of these questions right here that Miss McEntee sent me. As you know, I wrote and directed the film Final Shot. So the first question is from James O'Sullivan. He asked, how did you get into filmmaking and what inspired you to pursue it? I'd say watching other movies, that really helps. Use a movie as an example if you're going to make one because then you kind of know what you're doing and it kind of gives you a bit of guidance as well. Next question is from Sean Healy. How do you come up with your ideas? Do you watch the news, read books, or does it come to your mind naturally? It just comes to your mind naturally. Like Say like maybe they kind of come to your mind, so something might happen in your life, something big, or it could be something small. The next question is from Cameron Byrne, and he asked, what made you choose this topic? So I think he means the topic of the school shooting for the short film Final Shot. I kind of just thought of like things that could happen in the school and I did some research and I found a lot of people kind of like watching films on school shootings. I don't know why but that's just the trending topic. The main thing with filmmaking is find something that's kind of not popular but like trending because that increases the chance of getting it seen by a lot of people. Next question is from Daniel Inhun. Do you have a proper camera or do you just use your phone? This is a DSLR, it's a Canon. It's a big camera, it's a bit heavy, but the thing with this is that you can just take off the lens and put on a different one. Each one has a different purpose. I spent like the whole of second year saving up for this, and then I went and I got it, and I didn't know how to use it, so I watched a few YouTube tutorials on it. So, the next question is from Kean Scano, and he said, how do you plan your shots? I don't really plan my shots. A lot of filmmakers are different in this way because some filmmakers like stick to the papers, and you don't need to. You can literally just get your camera, get your cast, and just play it along as you go. It's the best thing really, just to go with the flow. Jack Sheardon in second year said, how do you get the aerial shots? And why did you use them? Well, I use this, and this is a drone, and all I do is I stick my phone into this thing right here. See, there's a gap. And I just connect it to the Wi-Fi of the drone, and it flies up. It's really cool, actually. Um, but at the time of shooting Final Shot, which was a year ago now, um, we, I didn't have a drone. So what I did was I found a solution. And the solution was to literally look up online a video of like a forest and then just take that and put it into my phone. And you can do that, you really can. The next question is from Alex Gould and he's in second year. He said, how do you know when to use sound effects? It adds a lot of tension and suspense, which couldn't be there otherwise. Rory and Harry also want to know where I get my sound effects and the gunshots because they send it so real. Right, so for sound effects, the main thing I do is I go on YouTube, I go onto websites, and I kind of look up sound effects of like, I don't know, you could say, if you want gunshots, you search up gunshots, and then you kind of listen to all of them. And what you do is you pick out the most realistic sounding one. Um, you wanna pick one that kind of matches your film. By watching other movies, you can kind of copy the way they use sound effects and put it into your film to make it sound like a Hollywood movie. So using sound effects is really important because it's the way, like, 50% of the movie is the sound effect and the other 50 is the what you're seeing. So I think sound effects are really important because sound effects make the movie and the best way to find them is online. So search up gunshots and you'll find like a ton of different gunshot scenes. But it's important to pick out the one that kind of matches your movie. That's really important. And the other thing I'd say is just to kind of watch other movies and see how they've used sound effects and then copy their style but add a bit of your style to it and then you'll end up with your own movie with like great sound effects. So just look up on YouTube, websites, online, everything has sound effects. So we have another question which is from Ian Mustafa and he said, how do you stay patient with all the retakes we've seen? Uh, it's kind of a skill you have to build up really. Just talk to your actors and tell them what you need and they'll do their best to give it to you. The main thing is that you just kind of stay patient and know that like this isn't the hardest bit because the hardest bit of making a movie is the editing. You just have to try and stay patient. I mean filming is the easiest part of the movie because everything, all the hard work is done like when you plan and you organize it. I'd like to ask Michael to teach me how to make a movie as it would be an interesting thing to know. Well, Andrew, all you have to do is just find me around the school or send me an email or a message or whatever and I'll be happy to help. Um, I'd really encourage you all to just make a movie because it's something that, like, 
when you're doing it, it does seem like a trek, but after all, it really pays off well. Um, just because you get to see it on your phone or on the TV and like, or on a cinema screen if you're lucky enough to get to the film festivals. But it really is important that you just give it a shot, you give it a try because, I mean, there's nothing quite like it. I would say just start making movies. Like, I mean, there's nothing quite like having a movie finished and just on your phone and people watching it. Like, the main thing is that if you're making a movie, you're making it so that it's going to be seen. There's no point in making a movie and then just keeping it in your gallery and not showing anyone because that's not going to work. Send it to film festivals, you upload it to YouTube, you show it to all your friends, your family, your brothers, sisters, cousins, godparents, whatever. I'd love to help anyone else who needs help. The main thing is that you just start making movies and just get creating.